Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the luxury subcompact crossover which is the Lexus UX200. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the interiors, the exteriors and we'll be going on a short drive in this Lexus UX200. Before we move forward, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the bell icon so that you never miss any video updates from my channel. Now it's a very windy day today. so you may sort of find the audio quality to be a little on the lower side and there'll be a lot of wind noise but i apologize for that now starting off from the front so this particular model is a lexus ux 200 f sport so you get this signature lexus grill out here and then this is sort of you know curved in like two directions and then this is like an intermeshed grill and then big lexus logo then you get an led headlight cluster and then these are led drs the arrow shaped again signature lexus style the uh, DRLs and then the LED headlight cluster and these are dynamic uh, LED headlights at the bottom again now notice there is also a lot of uh, chrome surround around these grills but that chrome is actually now I don't know if it's a chrome but it's a shiny trim that they use which is in black color and it's got a golden tint and also like like flakes you know which which actually shine so this is around the main grill and also out here on the side they, this uh, sort of trim bit that they've given and then there is this uh, these lines that go on the trim and then there is behind a plastic which has been put so this is not even open so it's like just there so again that also has the same black and golden tint around it and then there are lights at the bottom so there is one fog lamp and there is one on the side on both the sides so these are the cornering lights so they are there on the side and they work actually pretty well at night so now continuing on the side you get aluminum 18 inch rims and these are run flat tires and then again an f sport badging and this thick body cladding that you see it's actually pretty thick you know so that you know you don't damage the 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 side fenders when you are going around and also at the bottom and also these uh, claddings are actually super thick you know when i when i show you from the side doors they are actually like this thick it's pretty thick and uh, also the the car actually looks very very stylish from the side and then you get this triple colored so you know there's a black color white color and a chrome that goes on the middle and the side mirrors which are power foldable and also they are power adjustable smart keyless entry doors the window actually just uh, narrows down in the back and then there is a chrome surround around the windows and then there are also roof railings which are silver colored and then small spoiler that you get but it's a very gentle one and pretty much a flat one and then these uh, rear tail lights but they are aerodynamic tail lights so the uh, drag coefficient of this particular ux200 is 0.33 so drag coefficient is something a uh, which is in 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 automotive world is it's a term which uh, denotes how flowy the car is aerodynamic so you know a 0.33 is actually a very good number and it's actually a very aerodynamic car which is why you see a lot of curves out here and then you know uh, these lights are also uh, shaped in that airflow pattern where it will go from the side and which is why the tail lights are in a pointed uh, fashion now in the back let me come straight to these headlights because this car looks absolutely beautiful from the back especially at night because of this light bar now uh, the tail light cluster is actually a mixture of halogen and led it's just that this bar which goes continuously from one end to the other and this uh, light bar is actually made up of 120 leds and in the center it goes it thins out to almost three millimeters and trust me at night it just looks so good and then this is what i was mentioning these uh, tail lights are you know angled so you know the airflow comes from the side and then flows from here so it's channeled in the back which is why the shape is you know a little bit curved from in the in the headlights also and which is why it's a little angular now continuing at the bottom you would find these uh, lexus badging and also the ux200 and at the bottom there is a thick plastic bumper now I'm not too sure about this because the bumper is 
quite thick if I was to show you from the side when you see and at the bottom again you would see this dark chrome which is again a golden tint and some reflectors on both the sides with the fog lights in the back also and a single exhaust which is just normally sticking out in terms of the visibility the visibility is pretty all right but it's like a letter box you know because the car actually tapers from the back and then you can see the glass rear glass is also at an angle and which is why the visibility drops a little now when it comes to the boot space the Lexus UX actually doesn't do quite well. You get 321 liters of boot space and actually the boot space is quite raised now. And there are also scruff plates out here and there is no lip but it's just easy to slide your luggage in and out but you really have to lift the luggage and then put it in. So there are also more tying hooks out here in the back. There are three four more out here there's also a 12 watt power socket also these seats fold in a ratio of 60s to 40 so you can do them from here itself let me show y'all that but when you do that there's also a step so the seats actually go down and the boot is actually raised up so when you put your luggage or something inside it, there is a step so when taking it out it's a bit of a problem you can use that storage space at the bottom which you can you know use to put like i don't know some bags or something smaller bags of course not the big ones also the boot opening is pretty big so you know you get quite a bit bit big sort of uh, space to put your luggage in and out but it's just that you have to raise it a little also you can swipe your feet and then you know okay open the tailgate so the lexus ux 200 competes with the german rivals like the bmw x1 the mercedes gla the audi q3 so uh, in order to compete with that you really have to give a lot of uh, attention to details and I'm happy to report that the quality and the attention to detail in the inside this interior is bang on in fact it's even better than you know the German rival so to start off with the basic uh, quality of materials you get soft squidgy plastic uh, materials on the dashboard out here on the sides on the uh, door cards even and then there are some plastic bits that they've uh, provided I don't know why because it just sort of breaks the whole flow of it and also the door card seems to be a, a little normal you know because then this this whole half door where the door handle is that seems to look a little plain you know something like a red uh, this this uh, black instead of uh, red would have looked uh, rather nicer and then you get more red uh, leather cover there are also uh, panels out here which are resembled to look like brushed aluminium so even that has been provided in the dashboard but the fit and finish and you know the there is also a red stitching and all of that looks really nice and plush and premium but anyways Nexuses are supposed to you know give you that sort of feel of you know the luxury and all and they've done really well with that now coming to the center uh, uh, dashboard so you get an information display in the center because this is an f sport so you get a moving binnacle that goes around when you press the back button so i can show you now like you know the the whole binnacle is moving like physically moving not the digital one which where the animation happens on the screen so it's like a real uh, actual physical moving one and that looks really cool and then you know in terms of the information you get the speedometer which always stays in the center and then you get various other information like your uh, trip details like you know how much fuel consumption you are doing and also it will show me like the if you want to have a blank screen or if you want to see the tire pressure or if you want to see the range so it's very simple in terms of usage of that and when i press the back button and when that binnacle goes on to the right side there are more detailed settings where i can change the meter settings vehicle settings you know i can see the compass and all of that and i can get more information basically on the left side of the screen but it's a really quality screen now coming to the steering wheel the steering wheel is a uh, leather covered again with the red stitching and it's actually a very good grippy one and then there is an f sport badging at the bottom on your right side you would get the cruise control uh, controls out here and at the bottom there are also infotainment controls. now lexus all the lexus pretty much have the split infotainment controls on both the sides so you know you use both your fingers on the left side you would get your uh, controls for the in the the display information in the dashboard which is your multi information display so all the buttons on top for that and at the bottom you get your communication buttons and also the volume buttons for the infotainment screen so the steering wheel is electronically adjustable four way tilt and telescopic the air conditioning system again has just the buttons and then the entire system of the infotainment screen and the air conditioning controls are all angled towards the driver so that it is just 
like a little easier when you are driving to you know access these buttons so these uh, air conditioning buttons are all physical buttons that's good actually and also you can control the air conditioning system from the infotainment screen also but there are physical buttons and that's a good thing and there is this is a dual zone air conditioning system and then there are two vents for the rear passenger for which you can just change the flow of air that's pretty much about it and surprisingly there is heated seat option that has been given on both the driver and the passenger seat i mean i, I think cooling was a better option than the heated seat but i don't know now coming to the infotainment screen now infotainment screen is a 10.3 inch big display now you would think that the moment you enter into the car you would think that this is a touch screen but this is not a touch screen but instead is controlled using the trackpad out here now that trackpad every lexus car has this trackpad and that trackpad is like your like a pointer in on the screen with which you can select the different way options on the infotainment screen and there are also shortcut buttons for your menu back and the map buttons but that trackpad is a bit of a fuzzy nature you know when you are especially when you are driving it's a very distracting thing to you know use this infotainment screen is very unintuitive and i don't know it takes a while to you know understand how the whole thing works and by the time you reach an option so it keeps beeping and there's also haptic feedback from the trackpad uh, button so whenever you you reach that option it it vibrates to tell you that you know you've selected that option and also there's a bright selection on the screen and also the screen can be split in two ways so you know you can see two different uh, uh, information on the screen your maps and the uh, uh, media and all of that on both the sides so now in terms of the connectivity you can connect your, to this infotainment screen using the bluetooth there's apple carplay there's android auto there is also an auxiliary port and there is also lexus's own app with which you can you know download and you know uh, mirror the screen on the infotainment screen but also there are more controls for the infotainment screen out here your radio volume media and you know changing the track and tune but then there are just way too many buttons and then you have to get used to you know how the whole thing works and especially while driving because you may tend to miss some of the times i mean i have tried it and then you know it takes a bit of precision to operate this trackpad and also the buttons given out here also there are more buttons out here on the dashboard if you see they are sticking out from both the sides so one is the dial to change the sport normal and the eco setting and the other one is the traction control button so it's just easier to you know switch on to these i find them very useful uh, 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 yeah, you know when they are mounted out here because it's just easy to remember and easy to switch to the different modes from here directly now you get a normal sunroof in the lexus ux200 but it is quite big, big enough that is for sure now coming to the storage space you get 1 liter worth of water storage in the door cards actually it's pretty small that way in terms of storage in the door cards there are two cup holders out here you can also there is a storage underneath the air conditioning controls where you can put your phone and there's like a rubber material that they've used that you can so the the phones don't fall off when you have put it out there in that slot and also there is a center storage in which again you can put like somewhat like a small half a liter of bottle a small one out there and then there is also a glove box which is decent enough in terms of its size so and you don't get uh, any bottle options or storage options in the rear door cards now coming to the charging and the usb ports so you get 112 volt 120 watt power socket and it's actually merged in the in the dashboard it's in the center console actually so you have to press it and open the 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 port and then when you don't want to use it you can press it down and then it goes back inside so it's a flat area which you can use to again store your phones and there are also two usb ports out here in the center armrest and the auxiliary port out here and then there is also two more usb ports for the rear passenger so there are four usb ports which is a good thing because this car is basically going to be used as a family car and it's very important that you have you know a lot of uh, usb ports now uh, coming to the sound system so you get eight speaker premium sound system out here there's also a subwoofer in the back and uh, the sound quality is actually pretty good when it comes to the sound and then there's also a lexus clock mounted right next to the infotainment screen now as a part of an f sport package you also get aluminium pedal set these seats are again new lux leather seats and again red color they are ventilated seats but they are heated seats and not the cooled one and they have this 
export embossing on the headdress and they have bolsters on the side so that you know this this is more like an export package so which is why you get these sort of sporty seats and also they are pretty comfortable because they are leather seats now you these seats are eight way electronically adjustable and two way lumbar support for the driver and eight way electronically adjustable for the passenger seat but no lumbar support or controls for the passenger seat now the driver seat is actually in my driving position and then there is just enough of leg room so that my knees don't hit the seat but it's actually just about decent room to you know rest your legs and also there's not enough room to slide your feet under the seat also and if you see there is enough of headroom but if you are someone above six feet or six feet three inch then you know you may struggle with the headroom because it's a sloping roof line in the back and again the seats are in the red colored uh, new lux uh, leather in the center there is a black patch that they've given for the middle row of seat and again there is plastic uh, door cards in the back with no uh, storage space in the door cards and there is no uh, tunnel as such like there is a, a, a very small one but it's not enough to hinder the middle passenger so when i come in the center and sit it's actually pretty comfortable there are there is like a bit of a bump in the back just but in the where my, where i'm actually sitting there is no on the bench side there is no a uh, bump so it's relatively flat it's only in the back that there is some bump there are rear ac vents and also two usb ports which i mentioned there is also a hand rest that you can drop down and there are two cup holders out here big ones but they are not adjustable cup holders where you know they would just grip the or cup so if you put a uh, smaller cups then they won't you know they will be just dangling inside so the lexus ux 200 s sport comes with a two liter four cylinder naturally aspirated petrol engine that produces 160 bhp and 205 newton meters of torque now it is mated to a world's first direct shift 10 speed cvt transmission now again the CVT you know how the response is but I want to talk about the engine first because the engine feels a little underpowered and especially you know in a car which is this sort of big but it's just a naturally aspirated and not even a turbo I guess it was better if they had fitted a turbo a small turbo to this engine that would have made a lot of difference in terms of the response because there is torque but it's just the the eventual engine and the CVT combination that is a little bit on the sluggish side you know like you press the throttle there's a lot of grumbling before you know it starts shifting gears and then you can actually feel like you know the the CVT changing gears like like real uh, you know gear so it's it's actually fascinating how they managed to get that thing done uh, with a CVT but there are also different modes that you can switch on in this uh, UX 200 which is the sport mode and the eco mode wouldn't be talking about the eco mode obviously because my favorite mode will obviously be a sport mode now when you put it in the sport mode the dials obviously change you know they become a, a little more sporty dials and then when you slam the throttle the thing is F Sport is actually a very deceiving batch in the UX 200 because you know the, how the F Sport cars are. You know they are meant to be sporty. They are meant to be fast. They are just the 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 top of the line Lexuses and the performance uh, you know base. So in this, when I say F Sport, it's just that the suspension has been a little stiffened up. There are more uh, you know sort of. Uh, bits here and there that they have changed in terms of the seat uh, in terms of the steering response and there is only very minimal things that has been changed but when you press the throttle you have this so it it improves the throttle response and it makes the car very sporty but the best thing to do is to put it in a manual mode now when i put it in the manual there are paddle shifters out here behind the steering wheel now forgive me someone's doing burnouts out here right next to me so i don't want to end up hitting them so continuing yes so when i press you see the shifts are snappy like it's pretty quick and the car becomes suddenly alive like you know yes this is this is the perfect combination that you want to be in you know manual sport mode the car becomes super uh, you know responsive now there is this button called as the ASC it's like a sound that they 
uh, put across from the speaker so as to you know make it sound a little sporty now if i switch off the esc button you can see the sound has just gone it's just disappeared like the sportiness it's just the raw sound of the engine that is just i am hearing now when i press that esc button again yeah it makes a very bassy effect from you know from the exhaust it's not actually from the exhaust it's just from the speakers that it is you know blasting those uh bassy effects so that you know you feel like your car is very sporty but it works nonetheless although just on the comfort mode i wish you know the engine was a little powerful otherwise you know in terms of the response when you want to overtake someone that is going to be a bit of a struggle when you slam the foot hard but because of the cvt it gives you the advantage of you know uh, uh having the best efficiency which is anywhere between 13 to 14 so that is what this car can do and that's pretty all right for a compact family uh you know crossover so which is why and when it comes to the suspension and the steering this is just fabulous even the handling all three of the factors are just amazing on this in fact this has such a small turning uh, radius ah oh, i mean it's like a hatchback also the suspension are not too hard and not too soft they are just in the right uh, you know uh, zone where they are we will have uh, where you will have a comfortable uh, drive and not very hard drive but when you want the handling it also has gotten that because of the setup and the steering has a very good feedback even though it's an electronic steering but this is a very good one like you know i like how the the steering system responds when i give it an input and also there is immediate uh, you know turning action also and also there's a lot of feedback from the ground i can feel like you know what is going on so it's not very disconnected now coming to the brakes they are all four disc brakes and they work very well now there is a bit of a noise that you know leaks from the windows around there is a bit of wind whooshing that you will hear from both the windows out here and even on the rear side and even general uh, you know uh, the sound buffering is not very good because i can actually hear the engine noise uh, leak into the the cabin like quite a bit because especially when you are trying to accelerate yeah there is quite a bit of you know sound that leaks into the cabin the lexus is actually pretty filled with the the very standard uh, safety system so you get 10 airbags you know so two for the driver and the passenger which is the front airbag two side airbags again for the driver and the passenger there are four curtain airbags in the front and in the back in the pillar and also there is a driver knee airbag and also a passenger knee airbag i mean for the passenger so that is pretty cool so you know you get 10 airbags that way there is also tire pressure monitoring system there is abs there is ebd there is also a single camera reversing system the output from that is pretty all right because the screen is very good so the output is pretty decent i would say there are also child isofix points there is also vehicle stability system there is also traction control system there is also a whiplash system and now coming to the pricing so this ux200 f sport is priced at 185000 dirhams now it's actually a pretty decent price if you ask me let me explain you because it's a very decent german rival for sure because you get the quality the road dynamics and everything which is at par with you know the german rivals and also the handling and the the practicality and the comfort is very much like a sedan or a hatchback you know like it's it's pretty great actually most of the times because if you are going to ferry around the, your family then this is actually a very comfortable cruiser in my opinion and it's it's a worthy you know uh, option in the luxury compact uh, crossover market so and the ux actually means the urban explorer and this definitely is a very capable urban explorer i would say Anyways that is pretty much it for this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to subscribe to my channel then click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye and take care